First got here, we're pretty stellar. Um, maybe not stellar, <laughs> but uh, it's definitely something to get used to after being gone for so long. Um, just getting back in the groove, getting my timing down. I'm still working on it to this day, obviously, but it's a work in progress. I'm just every day trying to fine tune it a little bit more each and every day. You surprised that after the layoff that you've had, that you've been able to pick it up and resume it so quickly? Um, I had comments to myself that I could do it. Uh, I didn't know how long it would take, but I knew that it was something that I felt like I could overcome. You know, being that delayed for so long, um, it was just a matter of time and how much I wanted to put put in the work and um, you know, start to see some some success. Um, hopefully that continues. Did you, I mean, like after years of football weightlifting, did, were you, did you feel different? I mean, was it an adjustment? Like um, a little bit, but to be honest, I played golf for two years I wasn't playing, so I kept it a little loose. Um, <laughs> but if it wasn't for that, maybe I would have been a little tight. Um, but no, it felt pretty natural coming back. Um, just took a little bit of time to kind of figure out my swing that I had and to fine tune things. What made you decide that you wanted to come back and play baseball this year? Um, well, the love of the game for sure. Um, when I when I stopped in the first year, I came over here. It really hurt to watch watch the guys play that you know I was coming in here with to begin with. Um, so that really was was tough on me. And you know I prayed about it and told my parents and tried to figure out the best time to do that. And I felt like this year was the best time with my kind of figuring out the whole football thing. I already kind of knew my place there. I knew that it was a time that I could try and do both. How will you handle both? Do you do spring practice and this, or how do you? Yes, um, we've been working through that. Just continue. We'll keep talking with Coach Malzahn and Coach Thompson. Um, but yes, I will be doing both come spring ball. Do you, I mean, like, so did you go to Gus first? How did it come up? Yeah, um, I approached Coach Malzahn first um, last May, I believe, right before the baseball team went to Hoover for the SEC tournament. Um, I approached him and we kind of talked it through, like, what would happen and stuff like that. And uh, at the end of uh, the summer, I came over here and hit for Coach Thompson and Coach Nonamaker. Um, they said, you know, after the season, come back with us and we'll let you uh, try out for the team. So we, uh, after the season, came back and started talking and started practicing. It's been a pretty weird experience to actually playing in games now. I mean, it is a little bit. It's a little different than uh, Jordan Hare, uh, the environment, <laughs> but I love it over here. Um, but yes, it is a little bit of adapting to it for sure. Your new offensive coordinator's got a history of liking to throw the ball with tight ends. Have you thought about that much? I have. I, I talked to him a pretty good bit about it. Um, just trying to pick his mind, you know, see how he thinks through things and plays and such. Um, but yes, uh, I'm hoping that that's how we work this spring, and we'll see as we get into fall. To be a two-sport athlete at Auburn is, is quite rare. A couple of your football teammates or mm -hmm. three or four also run track, but Coach Gross obviously did the two that you're doing. Right. What is it? What does that mean to you to be in a kind of a select fraternity? Yeah, it's very, it's a very special feeling for sure. Um, I looked up Coach Gross before I got here, um, looking at his background, how he did it, and you know, he's a very special athlete, of course. Um, but yeah, it's really special. I know it's a blessing. You know, you have to take every day for what it's worth, and you know, it's it's really awesome. Do you ever think you'd be teammates with Steven again? <laughs> uh, maybe. Um, yeah, it's been those two years away were a little weird for sure. Um, but like yesterday, we were batting back and forth, and uh, that was that was pretty neat, just like high school days. Um, so yeah, it's been really awesome to share this moment with him for sure. Bailey, how'd you feel out there, and how was it just to get back out there and then get just? I mean, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Garrett. I'm sorry, my bad. Sorry. Speaking of, of football players who also play baseball, right? what, how, does that help you? The fact that you're a, a quarterback in high school and be um, a good all-around athlete? I would say it does a little bit. You know, it kind of gives you a little competitive edge. Um, just kind of more grit and uh, um, kind of helps us through like some uh, leadership opportunities and kind of help other teammates come along with you. So. How much did Butch emphasize defense last week? Because I talked to him about a week ago. He wasn't real thrilled with it. And you only guys only had two errors in four games. Right. Um, defense is something we have to take pride in here. You know, we had a good offense showing this weekend. and um, But defense is very important to come along with it. So, I mean, it's something to take care of the baseball every time it's put in play. It's something we take pride in. You look pretty comfortable with the plate. Did you feel that way? I did. I felt uh, – we Coach Gross gave us a good approach to stick to, so I try to – stick with that as much as I could and 
a couple pitches got left up and had some uh, good success and it got some confidence there. Your first weekend to play at this level with, with this team, can you kind of summarize what it was like? Uh, yeah, it was a little different than Shelton State. Um, there was a few more people in the crowd, but uh, it was fun. Um, we've got a bond through that in that locker room like no other, so it was exciting to get out there with the team for the first time opening weekend. What's it like being kind of one of the new guys on a team that has so many players back from a, a World Series run last year? Right, it can be kind of scary at first, but you know, playing through the fall and the spring, the upperclassmen, and everybody else just kind of brought this team together and kind of gave a pretty tight knit now. So, it's pretty nice.